Hey guys, what's up? It's a girl over here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're here, I'm Little Bella 7 and today, okay, um, and today we are going to be building a tree, tree farm and barn. The title is going to say barn, but we're starting off the barn today. Basically, what we're doing is, as you know, I want to build a tree farm, and then I got the idea to have like a bunch of trees and like in the middle of them have a pathway leading up to a barn at the end so that's what we're doing today so basically as you can see the entire area is grass now there's no water there did a little bit of renovating so what we're going to do not just uh we're going to grab all these trees and we're going to kind of put them in sections so i think what i'm going to do is um let's grab these and just there we go okay so we're not going to put too many oak trees down we are gonna we're gonna spread them out in like the front, so we'll like we'll put some there. We'll put one there. Maybe like one there and one here. So that's gonna be the, the oak tree section. We don't need too many oak trees. Actually, I'm gonna take the third one out. I'm gonna move this one like over here. And then move that one there. Take the third one out, because there's a bunch of oak trees. Um there's also a bunch of oak, um birch trees, so we're not gonna have to put too many of those either. So we're going to kind of put them like in the, like put them straight. We want to kind of make it look natural a little bit, not too natural. Um, now the dark oak, we don't have much of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave space for extra dark oak trees. Um, so we're going to put that dark oak tree there. We're going to leave some space. Then we're going to put some spruce. So we have a bunch of spruce around here too. Um, Let's see, huh? Let's see where this was at. And let's just like put it like that. And like that. There we go. Um Okay, now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda add random trees. The dark oak tree is what I want I want it to grow so I can cut it down and get more um more saplings so I can start planting the rest down. So let's do that. I think I have bones somewhere. Um, I don't know where, but somewhere. Uh, let's see. Probably in here I have one bone. Okay, that's not much, but you know what? We can totally make that work. Um, alright, so let's go over here. I also ran out of food, so I'm gonna need to... Okay, yeah, the three bone meal did not do anything. Uh, let's actually grab some potatoes. Right here. Grab all these potatoes. And... There we go. I have a lot of potatoes now. Okay. Okay, let's just plant those. And we're going to put these in the smoker. Uh, I also need coal for like the furnaces and stuff that are in the workshop. Um, because I don't have any. Uh, is there any coal in any of these furnaces? Oh, there's four in there. How much is in here? None. Okay, so I'm going to put two in there. I'm going to put one in there. One in there. We're gonna grab these big potatoes. We're going to eat them because we have no food. And um, I don't think I have bones anywhere else. Maybe in the um, storage unit over here. We can check that out. Um, let's just see. I actually did have bones, but I tried to tame a dog, and I only had two bones, and yeah, you know, they don't work out because I don't have enough bones. Kind of tame it. I also moved the chest from up here because I realized I wouldn't be able to open it because of the roof. So, yeah. So I put it over here instead. So, actually, I also got a lot of wood. I have, like, a wood chest now. Which one is it? It's like this one. Yeah, I have a bunch of wood now because I had to cut a couple trees down over there so I can make more space for the barn. And um, I got a bunch of wood from it and was able to make a bunch of wood. You know, I put them in a chest so I didn't have to keep it all on me. So let's actually, um, hmm. actually, oh wait, this tree already grew? Okay. I also need bone meal. I'm going to need bone meal far around here. Uh, what was I going to do? I not, now I can't remember. I don't know. Okay, well, let's grab some big potatoes. Um, uh, I'm also probably going to need more coal. So, sorry, I'm going to have to take that coal out. Put that in. And grab those potatoes. You know, I can't remember what I was going to do now. Let me just look at the blocks here and see if I can see something that I was going to make. Because I can't remember. 
Yeah, this is um, this is when it's like having really bad memory. Um, I actually, as you can see, I had like so the, the first I was gonna do the fences or the walls like going here, but then there wouldn't be enough space. So it's kind of just poles there, and then here's like the wall. So yeah, I have actually been in here and I did use it. Uh, there's coal in one of these. I know there is. Yeah, there's the coal. Um, and how it relieves the redstone. Um, okay. So one of the trees already grew, which is surprising. Um, I didn't think it'd grow that fast. I'm gonna, you know, I should make a mob trap so I could get, I can start getting mobs. I don't know where I'm gonna build that though. And I probably can build it out of cobblestone because I have, I have tons of that, don't I? <laughs> totally, totally don't have three million stacks of cobblestone, am I right? Because when you have a strip mine and go in it all the time, you end up with endless amounts of cobblestone that you would like to burn. So, um, yeah, so don't go strip mining. Actually, no. Strip mining is, like, a lot easier to find diamonds instead of having to find a new cave every single time you want diamonds. So, like, strip mining is useful, but if you just want to go to a cave and find a bunch of other resources, then go to that. But I'd recommend just strip mining. Um, I also kind of wanted to move the other portal somewhere else, but, like, I don't know where. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, I do want to move it, though. I want to get rid of this path. And then I want to move it, like, over there, maybe by the storage unit. And I'll end up in a new place in the nether, which would be cool. So I'll, like, get rid of this path, and I'll just leave it leading up to the farm here. And then, like, use the blocks and, you know, go put another portal over there. Um, oh, one of the birch trees grew. Okay. So our trees are growing. Let's, um, I have no idea how long I've been recording for. Uh, I've been recording for only six minutes. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go grab some of the blocks we have. I am going to need to make shears for this. I don't need any other tools. Um, so let's not here. As you can see, I have gravel here. I want to make, like, a gravel path. So, um, not, like, a complete gravel path, but just, like, a straight path down. Like, I have, like, some gravel sides and stuff like that. So, um, we, we're not going to do that just yet. Um, also, uh, okay, so that's going to be empty for these dark oak trees, and then let me move this like a little bit forward, so I'll move forward. Let me just, I think what I'll do is I'll move this one forward and I put that there. That basically line up. Yeah, basically it just lines up. I don't want it to line up though. Um, so let's, let, there we go. There's a, I also built over a ravine. I put dirt over it. So, you're gonna hear some of the noises. We're mainly gonna need red, so I have more red than white, but I'm probably gonna need more wool than this. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I want it to be centered. I don't know if there's gonna be enough space, actually. Uh, so let's just start off, at, let's start off, like, right here. So, uh, why is it? Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Leave three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, now that's kind of making me go crazy. There's one block there, and then there, there, there's, there's two blocks here. Um, actually, because this is over here, so if I look at it over like this, like just right here, and so, okay, yeah, no, that's gonna bother me. <laughs> um, I'm gonna need my shovel now because I cannot deal with this. And have to get rid of it now. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, actually, I don't think it's a good idea to get rid of it. Um, I know we're here at least. We don't have to get rid of it over here. There's things just over there. We can make it look a little uneven, right? Uh. Okay. Let's go over here. I might just start doing it right here. And then what will we? I think we'll just leave it like that. The thing is, now it's like that, so I'm gonna need like a bucket or something to even that out. Anyway, let's swap two. And can I reach over there? Yes, and two. And then go down here. One, and <laughs> two. There we go. And can I? I actually got to do some of the wool, wool up here. And let's get rid of that. Okay. So we're gonna get my time. 
Uh, let's put that. There we go. Um, I don't. I think it's 17 blocks back. No, it's 18 blocks back. Basically, I built the barn in like a creative world to see how big I would need to make it. And um, uh, I can't remember the measurements right now. I remember the front was seven, and then three like in the middle for entrance, and then I think it was 18 for the back. Pretty sure, not too sure, but we're just gonna go with it. Um, so 18, one, two, three, not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to get some rid of this. Um, so let's just now connect this. Uh, I'm glad I have my shovel out so I can get rid of this. I don't need it. Um, let's just. I don't know how much I need to get rid of. Uh, a little more. There we go. Um, okay, yeah, I'm totally gonna need more white wool. Um, for sure. I'm probably gonna need more red wool too. So, let's just. There we go. Okay, so we have that part done. Now, oh, we need these leaves to. Oh, wait, they're still wet in it. That's why it isn't going away. Uh, let's get my axe out. Uh, okay, I think that's it. Let's actually just use that and make some wood. Uh, okay, yeah, now it's disappearing. Is there any more logs in it? I don't think so. Okay, so now that, that will actually disappear, let's start building this. Uh, I do not- I should keep count how long I'm recording for. Okay, 11 minutes. Um, so we can probably finish doing like a, two layers of the red wool before we run out. Um, I'm definitely gonna need more wool. This this entire build, like the actual building, like the inside of the wool, but the actual building is literally entirely made out of red and white wool, and like three pieces of glass. So, um, I'm gonna need a lot because it's a, it's also tall because the roof is pointy, so it's gonna also be very tall. Uh, I think with the amount of red wool we have left, we should be able to finish this second layer. Actually, probably not. I'm going to be completely honest. What I'm going to do is just in case we can't finish it, I'm just going to put another piece of scrabble down. Uh, and we'll start off on this side so when I get my thumbnail, it looks like it's built on both sides just to make it look good. Um, uh, so let's... Actually, let's get that. Also, I have gotten some questions for the Q&A already. I have, like, three questions already. There's one question that is just, like, asking me, not, like, for the vid. Um, but I have gotten questions already. So if you want to give me a question for the Q&A, leave it in the comments down below. Since I haven't gotten many questions yet, um, I'm going to give it two weeks instead of one. I was thinking if I got a bunch of questions in the first week, I'll just do it then. But I'm not getting too many questions right now. So, um... I'm just gonna kind of wait it off. Not wait it off. Um, actually, yeah, wait it off. Just wait until I can get more. So I'm gonna give you guys a deadline of two weeks instead of a uh, one. So, uh, I think that's all. We, that's, this is really all we can get done today. Um, actually, just to show you what I'm thinking of building, I'm gonna get out of this world. Single player. Also, this is called snapshot. This is for a different video. Um, as you can see here, it's not the same version. Cheats, that's just another survival world that has cheats. See, cheat, yeah, it has cheats. Um, so actually, you this if you see high here, because the world was originally called high and then I renamed it. Um, so this is Tester World. I'm actually gonna show so this is what I'm thinking for the far. Obviously, you know, I'm having trouble with cows, but if I can find two and start breeding them, it's gonna be amazing. So that's what I'm thinking the inside will look like. That is a completely different build that I tried to make and completely failed. Um, so don't worry about that. So basically, this is what I'm going for for the farm. Basically, um, actually, is it 18 blocks on this side? Let me just make sure. Yeah, it's a few blocks. Okay, that was right. Um, so this is what it's supposed to look like. Basically, it has like an overhang here. And it's relatively made, I think it's actually made more out of white gold than red gold, to be honest. Um, actually, no. Red gold. It's, kind of, it's more out of red gold. Um, and then, like, the inside, like, this is all wood, but, like, the inside is, like, grass, and there's, like, little bits of water. We have barrels over here, and we have some hay over here. I obviously won't put this much hay. I was just putting it all down randomly. Um, I have trouble finding cows, so, like I said, I'll probably have to, um, 
like grab two, only two. Actually, no, I don't know if we'll be able to find two. And like breed them drastically. Um, pigs. I mean, I don't see them often, but I can probably find them. Um, I also don't look for pigs, so sheep. I know where to find a bunch of sheep. Chickens. I see chickens pretty often too. So, and the chicken pen's a little smaller because chickens are smaller. So I, I just had. I only had like a little bit of space here. I was like, you know what? I'll just make that for chickens. Uh, so yeah. This is kind of what I'm going for. There's also a lot of torches I have to use for the inside. And as you can see, there's like a window up here. Not for you to look through, just for like to come in. I don't know. I think it just gives it more of an aesthetic vibe. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, so yeah, this is kind of the look I was going for. That right there, this that's just like something to see how long I wanted it. Um, just for fun. I'll show this off. Um, so basically, I wanted to build a restaurant. And this is, I, I, there's a bunch of glow center everywhere because bats keep spawning. Um, and I was trying to go for a design that's not a square. The thing is, I was like, how am I going to build this in my Java world? I do not have this much concrete, nor wool, nor materials to do any of this. Or dye. Like, I don't have anything. So, this is just for when I do have the materials for it. So, this is kind of the design I went for. It's pretty big. It's not like a square shape. The roof looks odd because I didn't want it to be a flat roof and, like, the building shape is odd. Um, but I don't like it. It's very cool design. The back's, like, completely flat. <laughs> to be completely honest. And then, like, I did the path here, so it, like, splits into two. Um, so, I just went for that. So, that was just for something else. Um, and this is gonna be a tester world where I test out builds I want to do in my Java world. And the barn was one of them that I actually just did, like, an hour ago. Um, also, I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video, um, today, the day I'm recording this, which is Tuesday, February 9th, is the one year anniversary for my YouTube channel, so, yay, I can't cop in Minecraft. Yay, clapping in real life, because I can't cop in Minecraft. Um, so, yeah, it's a one year anniversary. I actually got a question about that on the Q&A, not gonna answer it yet, because obviously it's not the Q&A. Um, but yeah, I'm totally... I'm gonna answer it. Don't worry. Um, also, I am so admiring my skin right now. I love the creeper on the back that I did. I made it myself. Like, I didn't make the skin it myself. It was like, it was like an already done skin, and I changed it, right? Like, the eyes before were, like, blue. No, they were green. They were green eyes, and I changed them to brown, and all the pink on it was, like, green. I changed it all to pink. Um, and I changed a couple other stuff about the skin, and so I made it, like, my own skin. But it was originally, like, a completely different skin. Like, I kept the hair and the skin color the same, but I mainly changed the clothes. Especially the creeper on the back. I love the creeper. Um, but actually, if anyone's going to ask this question in the Q&A, go ahead, because I would love to answer it, so I'm not going to give my answer. What are your favorite mobs in Minecraft, or what is your favorite mob in Minecraft? If you want to ask me it, go ahead, because I'm not going to answer it. <laughs> now that I've said if you want to ask me it, because if you ask me it and I give you an answer, there's no point. So, yeah, um... Let's actually get back into the Java world now. <laughs> um, not the Java world, this is Java, obviously. Uh, but like, into the survival world. So, I'll have that load up. There we go. Um, let's see how long I've been recording for now. Uh, 18 minutes. Okay, yeah, it's time to end the video. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you smash that like button and comment down below what you think of this beautiful, not closely finished barn at all. Um, also, if you haven't already, go put some questions in the Google Forms uh, down below for my Q&A. You can put as many questions as you want. Also, for those of you that are giving me questions that are not that you don't want in the video, that you're just asking me personally, I can't see who types the questions. So if you want to, in your question, include, like, your name of a YouTube channel or, like, Instagram name, because I did get a question saying oh it's in my youtube channel link there whatever whatever the thing is it doesn't say your youtube channel name so if, if you're that person please just copy and paste the question and put your name at the bottom of it like your youtube channel name um so if you have any personal questions like that like you don't want me to say in the video just asking me personally um please put your like youtube channel name or your instagram name or something like that so i know i know where to find you if you're asking me like a question to so, like, go to your youtube channel and stuff um, so, j just clarifying that, I can't see who types the questions. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for clarification. Um, so yeah, if you haven't already given me a question, go ahead and give me a question if you have any. Anything about maybe YouTube, or what I like to do for fun, other than gaming, because, like, I always do gaming. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to smash that like button, and, um, 
subscribe, hit the notification bell, click all when you do, so you'll be notified whenever I post a video on the channel. Also, share my videos, please. We're trying to get to 200 subscribers by the end of February, because we have 181 currently, and I'm hoping 200 by the end of February would be great. So, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.